From what lies beneath its ice, to what it can tell us about the beginnings of the world and the interesting things that may have been built there, and more. Join me as I tell you about 8 Dark and Mysterious Secrets of Antarctica. Number 8. The Lakes Below when you think about Antarctica as a whole, easily one of the things you instinctively believe is that the land is just ice. Nothing more, nothing less. It's just ice. To think it's something other than that would be foolish, right? Except, after rigorous study of the continent, it's been discovered that there are actually bodies of water within the ice and snow of the region that seemingly boggle the mind. It's true, they are true lakes, and there are even rivers. Yet, that should be impossible given the nature of how cold the area is and all the snow and ice that's there. One of these lakes is Lake Vostok, which is a freshwater lake that is found 2.5 miles 4 kilometers, underneath the surface of Antarctica. How this happens is that because of how deep it is, it actually gets heated up by the core of the Earth and thus the ice that's above it is getting melted and creating a lake as a result. And this leads to the true mystery of these lakes and rivers. What's in them? Their depth and location make it hard to get a sample, but many believe that if a sample were obtained, it could lead to potential new life discoveries, deeper understanding of the world's most mysterious places, and more. Number 7. Mystery Structure Google Earth has been somewhat of a revelation in regards to allowing people from all over the Earth to explore the Earth from a skyward setting, and thus reveal things that wouldn't have been noticed before. It's even the backbone of the show, What on Earth? When one man went to examine Antarctica, he found a blurred out section of a map that was so large that he felt it couldn't be anything other than a massive building. I've searched the entire continent, and I couldn't find anything quite like it. I thought maybe there's a peculiar place in the images where there happens to be a gap, but I don't think that's the case. Just as interesting is that the size of the mass is 14 miles by 4.5 miles, 25 kilometers by 7 kilometers. And when said person searched all of Antarctica to see if something similar was around, there was nothing like it. After showing his findings, many thought that the military might be behind this, as they would have the power to make Google Earth shade the area. An interesting thought and conspiracy theory. However, a 14-mile-long building in Antarctica is not only improbable, it's illogical. Are there buildings in Antarctica? Yes, there are, but they're small. They're research outposts by various nations that only have handfuls of people at best, not 14-mile-wide stations. Yet, you can't deny that there must be something there, right? Or else, what are we seeing? What do you think is in that blurred-out stretch of map? Let me know in a comment below. And while you're there, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. There are lots of awesome videos being released here all the time, and you won't want to miss any of them. Number 6. Elongated skulls? Let's note that these elongated skulls could be anything. A team of archaeologists from the Smithsonian, or so they claimed, stated that they found a set of three elongated skulls in Antarctica during a dig. This is important for various reasons, not the least of which is that it would be proof of humanoid life on the continent from before the modern age. Now, most scientists believe this peculiar find to be a hoax and nothing but that. Still, it's an interesting story, and one that raises questions about Antarctica. Not to mention, these clearly weren't human skulls, they were elongated skulls. These skulls have been found in other countries and continents, including Peru, South America, and in Africa, which might go and show that during the days of Pangaea, when all the continents were unified, that there were people in Antarctica and other countries mingled there as well. There are many reasons to think that this was a hoax, not the least of which was inaccurate information given by the archaeologists at a press conference that was revealing in ways which they didn't expect. But there have been proven objects from space that have fallen into Antarctica. In fact, it's hailed as one of the best places to get meteorites, because the cold and snow preserve the space rocks. So technically speaking, it's not improbable that life from beyond may have fallen into the cold tundra and just so happened to be elongated. Or, despite evidence to the contrary, they could truly be remnants of a pre-modern species of human. Believe it or not, weirder things have happened. Aliens? Prehistoric humanoids with thick shaggy fur? Or just a hoax? What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Number 5. Blood Falls This very unique waterfall coming out of a glacier in Antarctica is one that just so happens to flow red, giving it the nickname of Blood Falls. But trust me, it's not real blood. The glacier in question is the Taylor Glacier, and the reason for its red coloring is rather simple from a scientific perspective. The glacier is one that is holding back an ancient body of water, one that is two million years old and filled with microbes among other things. At one point, the glacier broke enough to let the water flow forth. The water that was sealed away was high in salinity, as well as heavy in iron. Mix salt water with iron, then expose it to oxygen, and you get oxygenation, which is what causes iron to rust. 
Here in the water, it causes the same exact thing, and this in turn gets the water to go from blue to a reddish color. The Blood Falls themselves are five stories high on the Taylor Glacier, and the waters flow rather slowly, which is why the ice is stained by the blood. This must have been quite a sight when explorers discovered it back in 1911. There's no way they could have known about the complicated processes that were going on there, so it's possible that they thought this was the gateway to the underworld or some other equally terrifying myth. How eerie. Number 4. Gambertsev Subglacial Mountains Mountains are a major part of our world, but while many of them can be covered in snow at their peaks, you wouldn't expect any of them to be buried by snow at any meaningful metric. Yet, that's exactly what's going on with the Gambertsev Subglacial Mountains in Antarctica. This is a mountain range that is apparently very old, hundreds of millions of years old, and some even say billions. But despite that, they're buried beneath miles of snow. The mountains themselves rise 10,000 feet, 3,000 meters above the ground. But on top of that height, there's 15,000 feet, 4,500 meters of ice and snow on top of those mountains which is why you won't see them if you go to visit Antarctica. Thus, special technology had to be used to find these, and it was surely shocking to see them at all. It's very fitting that the initial results of Antarctica's Gambertsev province project are coming out 100 years after the great explorers raced to the South Pole, said Alexandra Izern, program director at the National Science Foundation. The scientific explorers of the Antarctica's Gambertsev province project worked in harsh conditions to collect the data and detailed images of this major mountain range under the East Antarctic Ice Sheet. The results of their work will guide research in this region for many years to come. But here's another wrinkle. Various scientists have said that these mountains shouldn't exist right now. Because the conditions of the region and the time it must have taken to bury the mountains should have eroded them away, yet they didn't at all. So how are they still there? No one is quite sure, and thus people are still studying these mysterious mountains. Number 3. Secret German bases? Not unlike many continents, there are many myths and legends about certain things that can be found in Antarctica. One of the biggest ones by far is that during World War II, Hitler assigned a mission to Antarctica to go build bases there. Some of these have been claimed to be found via Google Earth pictures, though obviously since their locations are very inland, it's hard to go and explore. Plus, many people note that of the pictures found, many were later shown to be nothing more than natural caverns within the natural folds of the continent and were not man-made. So were there German bases made in Antarctica? The ironic truth is that even though there are almost certainly not, there almost were. You see, during the build-up to World War II, Adolf Hitler knew that by capturing certain countries, supply lines that would be naturally open to them before would be cut off due to the conquering and resistances that would be formed. Key among these would be certain foods like margarine, which the Germans had a certain love for. At the time, they were buying it from Norway, whom they were preparing to conquer. Thus, Hitler needed a better supply, and he realized that whale blubber could provide the oil that they needed. However, the whale population in the northern parts of the world had been decimated, yet the south had potential. So he commissioned a ship to go down to Antarctica and do some recon and analysis on whether they could get the amount of supplies they needed. The ship had a successful mission and even helped expand humanity's overall knowledge of Antarctica through the aerial surveys and flying boats that they had. They even intended to build a base on Antarctica to help build up their production of whale fat before shipping to Germany. They even found an area that hadn't been claimed by another country and thus felt that they could colonize it. However, before they could go and actually build it, the German leadership lost interest due to the war going on. So while there were plans for a German base, there is no proof that anything other than the expedition happened. Number 2. Life within the ice. I think this entire ice sheet is alive. That has yet to be proven, said John Prisku, a professor at Montana State University who's been doing fieldwork in Antarctica for 27 years. That statement is something to behold, no doubt. As everyone knows, Antarctica is widely considered to be one of the most lifeless places in the entire world. There's no large human population there, and most animals that are there are adjusted to the cold, and many times also reside in the waters. But if you look within the snow and the ice, you're going to find many creatures of varying kinds, including loads of invertebrates, as well as potentially loads of bacteria and viruses that might be trapped within the ice and snow. Some even think that the bacteria that lives in the snow are able to thrive there in some fashion. The question is, are they living there? Is it a functional ecosystem, he said. In the lab, ancient bacteria from ice samples 420,000 years old, retrieved from more than two miles, three kilometers inside the ice sheet, have quickly shown signs of life. We melt the water and they grow, Prisku told Our Amazing Planet. It seems dangerous to me, but let's hope that these scientists know what they're doing. 
Their work is important because we're still so ignorant of everything going on under the glaciers in Antarctica. The truth is out there if we're willing to go and find it. Number one, the future revealing the past? A common question about Antarctica is its origins, mainly because many wonder if it's always been cold. Well, it hasn't. Once upon a time, it was part of a supercontinent known as Gondwana. And eventually, that supercontinent broke apart, leading Antarctica to its location now and eventually turning it into a frozen wasteland. At one time, it was believed to be a rather tropical place with various kinds of life forms and climates within its borders. This is why many people are so interested in doing more and more expeditions in the future to Antarctica. Because if they can get through the snow and ice, they might just find some remnants of the past life and as a result, discover more about the world that came before. What do you think? Could there be evidence of something we never knew about the Earth's history below the ice? Could there be super bacteria that might wipe out humanity? What's down there? When will we properly investigate it? It's hard to say. Antarctica is one of the last frontiers of human exploration here on Earth. Thanks for watching. What did you think of this look at some dark and truly mysterious things that have been found in Antarctica? Which of these things piques your interest the most? What else do you think can be found within the ice of the frozen continent? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.